Hey guys, welcome to another Worth It video, a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Today we're going to be looking at the Count Skull Bundle. This is a new bundle, it just now came out, and it's in celebration of the Halloween event. Now before I get into it, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos that I upload. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Now in this bundle you get two weapons, the first one being the Agony Claws that comes with a blueprint, the Eternal Life Blood which also comes with a blueprint, the Count Skull Outfit, along with the Count Skull gear set. You also get a paraglider, a grappling hook, and a weapons charm. And all this will cost you a thousand Dying Light points, so it's pretty pricey. Now starting off with the Count Skull Outfit, this thing looks absolutely incredible. Like, this thing is amazing. I love the details, I love the color, the mask is so intimidating. It looks, honestly, I'd give this a 10 out of 10. I love this outfit. Like, I think Techland really outdid themselves with this. It's not heavily detailed, but it still looks amazing. So overall, I don't have anything bad to say about this outfit. Next up, we have the paraglider, which, I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of the blood on the side. I don't know what that's about, but it still looks pretty cool. And for those of you curious, yes, the paraglider does glow in the dark. And it looks absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, the outfit does not. Now up next, we have one of the weapons, the Agony Claws. Now in terms of damage, it does not that much in comparison to the other weapons of its type. It does have four number of affixes and 400 durability, but it does fall below the damage aspect. Now it says it applies a life-stealing effect that also applies to other weapons. I'm not sure exactly what this does or what it means. And when I tested it out, all it did was make this green little smoke around enemies that I hit. So I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I'm sure it does something. Now in terms of the weapons, they... They look pretty cool, honestly. Although I would have loved it if it would have done the slashing from like the Night Hunter in Dying Light 1. Just as like a callback or an easter egg or something. But it's still pretty cool. The damage, however, with the weapon, it, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Like honestly, I would not use this weapon unless I was having fun. If you're thinking about fighting bosses, I would not recommend using this weapon. Now next up we have the Eternal Lifeblood. And this sword might actually be the best weapon in the game. When it's fully upgraded, it does a lot of damage, has four number of affixes, 400 durability and two mod slots which you can use to increase the damage and make it way more than any of the craftable weapons and one thing that i like about it is that it is fairly quick it is you know very fast to swing like most of the one-handed weapons but also when you do a heavy attack it's this fancy little stab followed by this fancy little twirl so it's got some pizzazz to it if you know what i mean but yeah overall this weapon is pretty cool it might actually be the best one, and I might recommend it to a lot of people to use. Now up next we have something that could be overpowered, which is the gear set. Now at first glance, the stats look normal, but then when you look down at the 15% additional damage with melee weapons on full health, things get a bit crazy. In total, you get 90%, and soon you're going to see an increase in that. But overall, this could be overpowered if you have boosters and you're always on full health, meaning you'll always do 90% more damage with your melee weapons. So to sum up the gear set, this thing could be overpowered if you use it correctly. Now up next we have the Fanged Facade Charm, which does an additional 15% more damage when you're at full health, meaning that 90% is now 105% if you pair it with the charm. So whenever you're at full health, you'll be doing 105% more damage with your melee weapon as long as you stay full health, which is absolutely insane. And then lastly, we have the grappling hook. And if you guys know me, I honestly don't like these things. I think they're useless unless they added some special effect, some special trail. The grappling hook is useless. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, be sure to leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos when I upload. And if you want a more worth it bundle, check out this bundle right here. But if you want to check out the other bundle reviews that I've made, check out this playlist. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.